Welcome back to Franchise TV. This is a YouTube channel where I'll unbox anything. Today I actually have a box of trading cards. And yes, we have Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. So I bought this for 40 bucks. Uh, trying to think what website I got this. I actually bought this a couple months ago. I think it was from cardsinfinity.com, I think. But they had it on sale for around, it was like 40 bucks plus shipping for this box. It says it has guaranteed two hits per box, one autograph, one autograph card guaranteed per box. So, I mean, I'd love to get out, you know, a Mark Hamill autograph, Hayden Christensen autograph, Carrie Fisher. I don't know if anything of hers in here will be signed. Um, she passed away. I don't know if this was actually signed or released before her death or not. Then, of course, here you got Adam Driver for uh, Kylo Ren. So, yeah, I mean, it's got a total of 24 packs in the box, eight cards per pack. So we got a couple of, uh, couple of packs to open up today, it looks like. So, yeah, $40 box. Let's go ahead, let's crack the open. Let's see what goodies are inside of this. But this is a box of Topps trading cards. Topps has been around since like what, 1952? When I started with baseball. Originally Topps was a bubblegum company. But you know, they're doing Star Wars cards now. So let's see, even says here, two hits per box, one autograph card is guaranteed. So we are guaranteed one autograph card in this box. Of course, you know, would love to get out a Adam Driver or a Mark Hamill, uh, Hayden Christensen, but you know, those big namers are probably like few and far between. You're probably going to have quite a few people from the series, you know, who aren't the major stars. I would like to see kind of the thickness of the packs. This pack right here, right there, is much thicker than the rest of the packs in that small stack. And in this stack, all the same thing. So I wonder if that's the autograph card right there. Uh, so let's mix it up a little bit. So I don't know which one's going to be this thick one. Here we go. You ready? Let's do this. First pack, Top Star Wars Skywalker Saga. Let's see what these look like. Not too bad looking. Uncle Owen's Bad News. Kind of burned through these cards pretty quickly. Battle of Hoth, Tatooine. Saving the Strangers, Dagobah, Endor, Path of the Jedi, Luke and Darth, and then Palpatine's Play. Okay, for this first pack, I won't spend a whole lot of time on every single pack because also we got, how many packs did I say? 24 packs? We got quite a few to burn. That's what I should do, honestly. Let me go ahead, let me open up like four or five packs at a time. I'll just stack them up. Might be a little bit faster doing it this way. Because I've watched some card breakers on YouTube, and some of these guys actually do it like this. They'll open up, you know, half the box, the whole box, and uh, stack them up kind of like this. Kind of helps with speed whenever you got, you know, a whole box of 24 packs of cards. So it doesn't drag on as long as, uh, you know, it could drag on. Let's go ahead. Let's just go through these, this small stack right here. Kind of see what we got. We got Vader's Redemption. Meet the Monster, Yoda Unveiled. Hope oh, these are upside down. Some more Darth, Relics of the Past. There's an insert, Obi Wan Allies. Pretty cool looking card. Not like numbered or anything. Anakin, Han Solo. Look, like you got a mixture of here from the original trilogy, the prequels, and the sequels. You got a whole bunch of mixture here. This card is kind of a different color than the other ones. I'm guessing this might be maybe some kind of like an insert. Maybe, maybe not. Mace Windu. I think that was Mace, right? Yeah, Mace. Some of these cards are turned around backwards. There's a Luke Skywalker. An older Luke from the from the, uh, the sequel movies that just came out. Those, those three. Force Awakens, Last Jedi... And uh, Rise of Skywalker. Out of those three, which one was your favorite out of those last three movies? Me personally, my favorite, I think the best storytelling 
was actually Force Awakens. I think that was the best one in terms of storytelling. Um, oh, here's the autograph, I think. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got Jar Jar Binks on. Ooh, it's numbered 01 out of only 25 cards. I think I think I just hit a pretty decent card out of this. We got Ahmed Best as Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks numbered only one out of 25 made. I think I actually got a pretty decent hit right here. <laughs> Jar Jar Binks numbered one out of only 25 made. Look at the back of one of these packs. Let's see what it says about green autographs. In fact, these packs always like list the odds on the back of them. Let me like look through here really quick. There's still like a possibility of printing plates, relic cards. Okay, here we go. Autographs. Wow. Is that right? Autograph parallels tan, one in 158. Blue is one in 267. The odds to get out a green autograph, if you can see that. I'm not sure if it's going to be focusing or not. But it is one in every 415 packs to get out of green. Purple one in 937, red in one in almost 4,000. So one in every 400, 415 packs for a green autograph. Like the green border out of only 25 autograph. So it was 24 packs in a box. Well, that's like, like what, one in almost like 20 boxes to get out of green autograph. So that's actually... That's actually going to be a pretty, pretty good hit right here. Uh, I think I've got some. Let me actually go right now. Let me get a top loader to put this card in because I think it might actually be worth a little bit of money. Always keep some of these cases around just in case. And yeah, this Jar Jar deserves to some protection. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look this thing up and I'll flash on the screen. Like, while I do this, kind of like how much this thing sells for on eBay, because I don't really know. I mean, this thing sells for 20 bucks or if it sells for 100 bucks, I really don't know. I just want to put it in a case right now to protect it, because it is a pretty nice hit, Jar Jar Binks. So, and even it's numbered 01 out of 25, people actually pay a premium for the cards numbered 01, like the first one made. Super cool. Keep that right there. Okay, let's go back to open up or going through these cards. We got Darth unmasked. Some more. I'll, I'll burn through some of these. So, remember earlier the first stack had there's a Skywalker Legacy, Luke Skywalker insert. That super thick pack. I bet that one obviously this could probably be my other insert. It'd be kind of cool if it's like a printing plate or something, or it's got like a relic card. I don't really know if this has relics in it. I don't remember if it does or not. Go ahead and do the same thing I did last time. Um, yeah, I spent a little bit of time on the autograph card right there just because that's actually, that's a nice hit. Like, I'm super happy with that hit. That should pay for the whole box. This thing, never mind. I thought, I thought there's a hit right there. But yeah, more than likely, the super thick pack we saw earlier is probably going to be my second hit in this box. And it was like, what, twice as thick as the rest of the pack. So whenever I pick up that pack, I'm probably going to... Oh, is, I think that's it. Yep. Here's a super thick pack. Right here. Yeah, why not? I was going to say... I should maybe save this for later, but... Well, that's, that's got like a super thick card right there. So yeah, there's there's, there's something right there. That's going to be my second hit. I doubt it's going to be an autograph, though. And so I'm gonna promo on the back of it. Because first person use that promo code. Oh, I just totally dropped. Yeah, so the ones that hit the ground, they're just common base cards. We'll <laughs> just keep them down there. I don't wanna have to move out my camera and have to reset this entire shot just to uh, get them off the ground. But yeah, I, I, I look down there down in here in the abyss and it's honestly it was just a pack of base cards that i'm gonna have to uh get once the video is done i'll dig them out we got a few packs left to open up let's go ahead let's go through the stack right here this stack's gonna have uh the last hit in it 
base cards. Awesome fight scene. Allies, Han Solo. All these cards like backwards and forwards and upside down. You spend half the time on these just uh, putting the cards back. You can actually can see them in person and on camera. Now that, that thick card has to come up here pretty soon. There's a Luke Skywalker insert. Yeah, the other thick card, that's going to be the other like hit in this box. I mean, I think this box is like 40 bucks plus shipping. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Jar Jar probably paid for most of this box, I bet. I bet it did. Another Luke. Here's a blue border card. Have we seen many blue border cards? I'm not too sure. Can't remember. Are we getting close? Yep, we're almost there. What is the last insert? It is. Oh, that's interesting. A Wing Fighter. Rebel Alliance. It's like the blueprints. That's actually kind of cool. Let me try to get it so you can actually can see a little bit better. It's like a see-through card. It's got the A-Wing Fighter Rebel Alliance with like the blueprints for it. That's kind of cool. Numbered 243 out of only 250 made. This is probably not very valuable, but if you're a Star Wars fan, this is actually it's kind of cool. Laser cannon, adjustable stabilizer wing. Yeah, it's kind of good. Yeah, that's cool though, isn't it? That's actually, that's not too bad. So there's my two big hits for this box. That's not bad. Okay. Yeah, let's go with the rest of these cards. So the other small little stack of packs I have next to me is probably not going to be anything major. Since it's two hits per box, we have both hits now. There's all the common cards. Common, common, common. Star Wars Legacy, Anakin's mom. Coming, 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 coming. Another Luke Skywalker. And Dagobah training. Okay. I just made a huge mess with these. Pushed off to the side. Here we go with the last small stack of packs. I'll try to burn through these pretty quickly since these probably don't have anything in them. Two hits per box. I've got my two hits out. Does anybody actually open this this uh, this stuff up? The 2019 Star Wars Skywalker Saga. Does anybody crack this stuff? It's kind of cool. I mean, if you're a fan of Star Wars, all the, all these cards, you know, they they tell about the scene and you know they have all kind of cool stuff on them. So I mean, if you're a collector of trading cards and Star Wars, it's actually a pretty cool set of cards. With the, every box has an autograph too. So I mean, seriously, you you can't beat that. Especially since these boxes now are like on clearance prices. Here's the last small stack. We'll just burn through them. Here's a, ooh, nice. We got a low print card. The work of Imperial Stormtroopers, number 24 out of only 25 cards made. So I got another super low print base card. What's the odds of that? Let's see. Base pair logo. Okay, so the base pair cards, the blue ones that, we, that we've seen a few times, there's one or a four. A green's 132, a purple, like this one in 126 packs. So 24 packs a box, that's roughly one in every five boxes to hit a purple border card. So that's crazy. One in every five boxes to hit a purple border out of 25, and one out of every 20 boxes to hit a green uh, bordered out of 25 autograph. So this is actually a really good box. Wow, this is a really good box. So let's keep on cruising through. And there shouldn't be anything left here of any major value. I mean, I've got a, a super short print autograph, a super short print base card, another cool insert card. Now here's the, the ones that are, that are blue. One every four packs, you got like what? Six of the, or uh, yeah, eight, eight of these, eight of these per box, whatever it is. No, six, six of those per box. Can't do math right now. This is about it. Orange bordered card. Looks like if these were like short printed, they'd be numbered up there. And that is it. So what did you think? A $40 box of Star Wars trading cards 
And I think I actually did pretty well. I think I did okay. Autograph Ahmed Best as Jar Jar Binks, authentic autograph numbered 01 out of only 25 made. Fantastic hit. Super happy about that. Super happy. So let me know below what your comments. And if you want to see some more boxes open up just like this, I will do this because on this YouTube channel, I will unbox anything. <laughs>